All right, welcome back to SRD Plays. The name is Koufax. My homage to the great Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher, Hall of Famer Sandy Koufax, left-hander, strikeout pitcher, uh, one of the best pitchers, arguably, for the uh, between 1960 and 66. Uh, was pretty much unstoppable. Now, in this reality, he's on the Los Angeles Angels. He is in L.A., but he's on the Angels. Uh, and he's lost his last two starts. Uh, last time he got pulled before the fifth inning, which is really the first time, the earliest he's ever been pulled. He only had three strikeouts in five innings, and uh, he had three earned runs. So uh, his ERA's inched up over uh, two for the season. So let's see if we can do something to get him on the right track here. Ooh, starting off with a 99 mile per hour fastball. Ooh, had him way ahead. Sandy's looking good with the shades. His future's so bright, he's got to wear shades. They're saying give him the big curveball, the 12 6. This is one of his killer pitches. Yes. That was a little higher. I missed my spot, but I got him anyway. That's one strikeout. So, yeah. Good start, Sandy. Good start. Got Nelson Cruz, Kyle Seeger, Adam Lynn, Robinson Cano. That is some, uh, that's a tough lineup there, man. Wants a big hook again to start this guy off. It's like a perfect pitch. Comes on with one gun here as he looks at a called strike one. So let's take a peek at our umpiring. Going to pretty much follow my uh, catcher's uh, call for the most part. All right. Another curveball kind of down. See if I can hit the spot on this. Nope, early. Oh, but I got the corner and I got the call. All right, that's the way to start. He had to take a good look at himself after that last start and look on work on his mechanics a little bit. His uh, curveball was not working for him, and uh, yeah, so he's been practicing on that curveball and he's put it to good use right off the bat. You're gonna miss, miss out of the zone. That's high fastball. Hundred and one miles an hour. That's what he was missing. Change up down. Ooh, he's way ahead of that. High fastball. Ooh, way high. Got him. Struck out the side to start the game. That's what I'm talking about. Kyle Seeger batting 308, fifth in the American League. That was 100 miles an hour. Change up out the outside corner. Got a piece of that one, and but our guy gets to it. All right. So he can't strike out everybody. All right, Adam Lind. Came in from doing some yard work, and my hands, you know, I was using a weed eater. And my hands are vibrating like you would not believe right now. That's a perfect pitch. Oh, no, he found a hole. Come on, get the ball. What? Not in time, and he's in there with a double. That ball hey, inside. what are you doing out there in the outfield, guys? Lollygagging? So many hits up the middle. If your game plans to go up the middle, good things can happen. Uh, it's a daggone ground ball for a double. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. All right. Off an over four in last night's ball game. Shake it off, Sandy. Well, we'll give you a look there at the graphic. That's now 14 doubles on the season so far. Oh my god, what is this? Is that, is that Trout? Well, nice job right there. 
it comes through with the RBI base hit, and now his side has the lead. That guy should have been hosed at home, man. 25 speed. Can we double him up? Thank you, guys. No help out in the field today. Cost me uh, a run already. All right. Our team has not scored either. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't fighting. Very well could see it again here, though. Strike him out. All right. Strikeout number four. Another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Cattell Marte. And that will bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last uh -oh. game. This is hit pretty well out to left field. He got it. Whew. Boy, I put that one right down the middle, man. That was not a good pitch. Two outs, though. The count holds at two and two. Now another two two. Perfect. All right. Here we go. And that's a strikeout. All right. Got five strikeouts through. Is that through three or four? Through three. Team still has not scored. Got him. All right. Six strikeouts. Well, we're all hearing he has definitely uh, had a come to Jesus meeting with his manager and his coaches about what, what happened the last two games, and I think they worked something out. Oh, okay, dangerous hitter. Oh, nice pitch. Beautiful changeup. Got him out front with that swing right there. That's what a changeup will do. Just keep you off balance. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right. All right, where am I going here? Curve ball down. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And they'll try to get him. Didn't go there, for it. Won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two. Pitch on the way. Oh, that was not a good pitch to swing at, dude. Okay. Okay, well, you were wrong, Harold Reynolds. Get on, shoot. Yeah, I hung that one. I hung that pitch. All right. He's been pitching well, but he's still hittable if you make a mistake, man. Oh, sit down. All right, we get out of the inning despite the double. Come on, team. Let's go. Let's score some runs. Still one to nothing through five. Oh, he went. Curveball. Hi, curveball. He froze him. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts. All right, he's rolling. He got nine Ks. He, he just needs some hit support now. Got him on the high fastball, finally. Yeah, he, he made me work for that one. Got him swinging. All right. Is that 10 Ks or 11? Got Trout, Vaccaro, and Simmons. For us. Come on, guys. Did we do anything? All right, we scored one. We tied it up. Big hook. Big hook. Ah. Uh. Oh. 
Oh, got it. Oh, okay. That is the Diamond Dynasty buttons messing me up again. Crap. First base is the other side in this version. God darn it. Curveball. Alright, that's catchable. Alright. Lazy fly ball out the left. We'll take that. Okay, Franklin Gutierrez. He says a high fastball. Ooh, 100 miles an hour there. Nah, we're going to change up down, Dud. Change up down. Yeah. I'm giving that guy three straight fastballs. Alright, Nelly Cruz. Getting a spot. That's good. When you're facing this good a hitter, man, that strike one becomes so important to get ahead with Oh, he went around. Alright, big hook in the dirt. In the dirt here, and he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. What's another one? Ready to deliver the one and two. And that misses two and two. Alright, now this is dangerous. Try to get him out with another change up. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's change up in the zone. Oh boy, that almost that almost uh, was a bad, bad thing. Got him that time. Whew. Still a little higher than I wanted it. Okay, he's rolling. Can our team roll? What do we got? Nope. Got him. All right. All right. He has definitely made a correction. How fast was that? 101. Okay, good. Swings and it's a line drive to left. Uh, okay. A leap, but he can't bring it down. They had a good pitch, really. It was not in this. Not, not a good pitch, really, to hit. Yep. I mean, well, it was kind of over the plate. So maybe it's not as good as I thought. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Oh, it's on the ground a second. Did he get his double play? Yes. All right, we got out of the, got out of that with the double play. Thank you, defense. Now come on, offense. Tell me we score. We did not score. I think I'm destined for a no decision here if things keep going. Fatigue's not gonna be a factor for him. He's still popping the glove in the high 90s, and we're late in the game right now, Matt. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. One and one. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Just nice pitch. Lively fastball. Oh, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above this. Come on, throw it. A little height oh. makes all the difference. And he will get there at first, so he reaches on the drop third strike. So not the start to the inning he was looking for as he got the strikeout, but the runner <sighs> anyway. Now here comes Angels manager Mike Socia on his way to the mound. What? And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. Come on, Mike. He'll depart with our score tied and he'll still well, be accountable for the runner at first. And the best yeah. The no I hope I don't get this get the loss in this. Volquez is coming in. Hopefully he shuts him down so uh, Sandy doesn't get another loss. But he's definitely got a no decision for sure. So let's go see what happens. All right, we did get the uh, win. 
Uh, well, Sandy didn't get the win. Sandy got a no decision. Volquez got the win. Our team came through for us. So it's uh, disappointing that, that first inning, the defense let us down. Mike Trout in center field made a, a rare error, which I know he would have hosed that guy with 25 speed coming around. You know, he's on second base. At least it, it would have been close, at least. But uh, he missed the ball on, on the ground ball. And, uh, yeah. So. All right. Well, that's going to be it. Let's go look at the stats real quick. Uh Sandy would pitch seven innings, uh, gave up five hits, struck out 15. So that was, he was back to the high strikeout game, but uh, didn't walk anybody. So he was on, uh, definitely on. So, uh, yeah. All right, well, that's going to be it for this episode. If you like the episode, leave a like. Uh, if, tell your friends about us. Uh, ask them to subscribe. I would appreciate it. If you have not yet subscribed yourself, please do. And uh, we'll catch you next time on... SRD plays. The name is Kofax. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.